Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching. Thank you for joining us on Art in Paradise, the show that features Kauai's favorite artists. Today I'm in the art studio of Fanny Bilidu, and you're going to see why I love her work so much. So a lot of your work has uh, some fun in it. A lot of them have chickens and roosters in it. When you started painting chickens, what happened? There was a painting that just didn't do anything for me at all. So I thought, I'm just going to paint a couple chickens in an inner tube. It kind of made me laugh and it made other people laugh too. They enjoyed it and, and so I felt free to be able to do more. All right, so more of these chicken paintings started coming to life and what was the reaction? People say like in the galleries, when people are walking around the gallery, you can hear them laughing and they know right away. They're looking at the chickens uh -huh. because they, they can relate to them. They're right. kind of humanistic and yes. they're doing so I noticed things. that about your paintings. Uh, the, the roosters are having a good time, the painters having a good time, the public's having a good time. I think it's a win-win-win-win situation all around. When people visit Hawaii, they're sometimes a little bummed because they get waken up by roosters and chickens in the morning. Um, do you hear the roosters in the morning? Do they wake you up? Uh, you know, you tune them out after a while. But you know, if you turn on the bathroom light at night, they think the sun's rising and then it's like this <laughs> wave that comes across Hawaii and uh, everybody gets woke up, just yeah. the way it is. Well, if you're a visitor and you're getting bothered by the sounds of the roosters and chickens, don't worry, it'll go away in about two 20 weeks. years. <laughs> The wiener dog is driving the bus, and then we have um, two hens that are hooting at the rooster who's got his surfboard, and he's very annoyed, of course. And then we've got a chicken hanging her toenails out the back, and one practicing snorkeling on top. Is one mooning? Well, you, I think that's what people must think, but yeah. actually she's laying an egg. I heard. See it? Oh, I see. And then the other one's watching to see if it's going to crack or if it's going to roll. I see you working with these different mediums. How do you? decide when to use what or how do you go from one medium to another? Well, I, I think that it's when I see other people's art that is really fantastic. I get very excited about it and then I'll, I'll go ahead and do it myself. I have to play with it. I have to do it. What happened here? Uh, it's crackled medium. You put it on and it dries with cracks and then you paint right on top of it. You meant to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got shells, marbles, more shells. Heart-shaped Sunrise glass. shells, sunset shells. What's in here? Oh, those are glass. Just categorize them by the different colors of glass. So There's that's so like beach glass? Yes. Did you actually go to the beach and get them? I did. Or somebody did? I did. You did? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. And what do you make, like, for instance, with the glass? What do you make with the glass? Things like, um, like this piece of jewelry. It's uh, uh -huh. oh, beautiful. glass made. That's how good it can look. Yeah, <laughs> all the different colors. All right. And then uh, sometimes more simple, just one piece. And uh -huh. then I do a little bit of pottery too. So this is a piece of pottery. Like with, that's uh, ceramic? Yes. And, and then uh, it's got oh. resin and shells. And it's just the process of trying something new. It's very uh -huh. exciting. Where do you find the time to get all this painting done? I, I think when you're addicted to something, you find the time all the time. Uh -huh. And it's like a regular job. People go nine to five and work. And that's my work. My husband is also an extremely big help. He just cooks up a storm and does the dishes and he's just wonderful. Most of my work, the originals and the chiclets, are in Kauai for Life, Nepali Art and Coffee, Aloha Images, Kilohana Galleries, Halalea at Kakuula, and uh, Waimea Plantation Cottages, Espresso in Paradise, and then there's prints in Elephant Walk, Island Soap, and Jungle Rain. Thank you for joining us on Art in Paradise. I'm Patrick Ching, and if you want to see more of Fan and work, go down to galleries all throughout Kauai, and especially down in Hanalei at Kauai for Life Gallery. You got a chalkboard I can scrape my fingers on? <laughs> okay.